This video is titled Introduction to Negative Numbers and you'll notice in brackets next to the title I've put the word integers and we're going to discuss what integers are all about. First thing we need to do is actually talk about what are called the natural numbers. Now the natural numbers are also known as the counting numbers and these numbers are your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. They're the numbers you use to count things. Now there's a bit of debate between mathematicians about zero. Should zero be included as a, as a natural number or should it not be? Some agree and, and some don't. Anyway, there was once a time where counting numbers was all you needed. People only needed to be able to count things. But as things have progressed, we've needed more numbers than this. And this is where we come to integers. Integers include the counting numbers. They include the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. They also include the number 0, and there's no debate about that. The number 0 is included in the set of integers. But it goes further than that. It goes into your negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So why did they decide to extend the natural numbers into the negatives? Well, there are lots of practical applications where we need negatives. In fact, I've got a picture here of a thermometer where you can see we needed negatives to measure temperatures. It goes even further than that. For instance, your bank statements. Banks need negative numbers because sometimes people owe money. So they might say that a person has negative $500 in their account, which means they owe $500. So whenever you see a negative number, you know that that is part of a set, set of numbers that are called integers. And that concludes our video introducing negative numbers.